unleash to allow someone or something to be free when they were previously strictly controlled. Leadership, the ability to establish a clear vision and share that vision with others so that they will follow willingly. Potential, latent qualities or abilities that may be developed and lead to future success or usefulness. ULP. Vision, the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. Let me start with the word unleashing and explain it. You see, let me give you, I'll explain it through an example. How, how many of you have been in a circus? Uh, uh, when, we, when we were young, we were in circus. But you see a big elephant, big elephant. And, uh, uh, and it, it would be on the stage. Uh, and it will come as if, and then you'll get scared and think the alarm fell. But when it reaches here, it will stop. It won't go further. It will come back and do its trick. And then, it, and then it will go like it's charging and then you'll get scared. But it, when it reaches here, it will stop. Now, how do they get it to, to be trained in, to, to do that? They actually put a leash while it is still wild. A leash, Mrs. will get down. I can see what I'm saying. It get down. And then they, 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 they train this, this big elephant uh, with a leash that is right to this determined point. So it will walk, and then when it arrives here, the leash will grab it, and it will stop. And every time it will go back, and it will try again. It will try 100 times. And then the leash will always grab it at this point until the leash that is in the, on, the, on the foot goes and leash the mind to say, you, this is your finishing line. When you're here, you stop. That's the end. You can't go any further. And from then onwards, they take away the leash. The elephant will go without a leash. It will stop here. Because the mind now is leashed. When you reach this point, stop. You can't go any further. Your life has come to an end. Now, the problem is that our social background, everything that we hear and tell us throughout our lives, worse in our country, apartheid, has told at least our minds. And then, why are we talking about uh, unleashing leadership? Is because we want to unleash that leash that was leashing you here. Now it's leashing you in the head. So that's why we use the word unleash so that you, you are released. And that's, that's, a, that's a first first part of this vision. Second is leadership. Why leadership? I don't need to explain any further now. Just look from the 16th of December at Nazareth, the change of leadership to the 1st of February. What has happened in terms of uprooting the scourge of corruption that we've been talking about here at ULP? What has changed? leadership so leadership makes and break a country leadership makes or break a community leadership makes or break a company leadership makes or break an organization leadership makes or break churches leadership makes or break any religious organization leadership makes and break our families so this is why we lead, we focus on leadership Finally, potential. Now, you may not believe your potential because when you're young, you're told you'll never become anything. Yeah. You won't be anything. And you believe that. Let me tell you, we at ULP believe in your potential. We at ULP believe that your potential can change the course of history of this nation. We believe here at ULP that your potential can change the course of your community. We believe that at ULP, your potential can change the course of your career. We believe here at ULP that 
it can change the course of the organization you're leading, your business. So that's why we focus on protection. And that's why we're here. That's the reason why we're here. That's why we spend inordinate amount of time, energy, and resources for this vision. I believe in it. My wife believes in it. This little girl is my daughter. This is why he's capturing it, Balisa. And many other people that are here believe in it. Do you believe in it? But from that point on, until the time I breathe my last, it's my turn to work. It's my turn to run the race. With all my might, all my strength, until the last minute. My going to the trenches was not about just because I was angry, but because it didn't make sense for my faith. If God cares and is just, then God must worry about this. The key thing that I really want to emphasize to you is that be teachable. Have a teachable spirit. Be open to learn from everyone. There is nobody who has got a monopoly on knowledge. And therefore, you must view yourself through the lens of humility. Too many of us want to be seen, heard, and be acknowledged. And then we resort to loud and aggressive and arrogant behavior. You see, Pride is a very convenient mask to hide, to hide our insecurities. And we build a kind of a, an untouchable brand around it. Hey, that guy, hey, you're looking for trouble. Is that the brand you want to create in life? The role of a leader is to give people hope. And as Napoleon said, I'm not sure if he was a Christian or not, I think I should Google him. But Napoleon did say that a leader is a dealer in hope. Yeah. And that is the essential role, I believe, uh, of a leader. There are no easy decisions. If the decisions were easy, you did not need leaders to take decisions. We could all take our own decisions and do anything we like. Even ship need a shepherd. Uh, there are no easy decisions for leadership. Uh, they are all complex, but they all have consequences. So our choices as leaders have consequences. We must stand and take responsibility for the consequences of the choices and the decisions that we make. Integrity from a leadership perspective is totally indispensable because unless that is embedded, uh, you then fail to control how everything else basically evolves. Make sure that you work yourself out of the job from day one. Make yourself out of the job, out of the job, so that you open up space for some other people to come in. Otherwise, you're gonna start hogging and hoarding things, and you'll destroy the organization. And that is why we can never build institutions, because you think that the institution is you. You are just a passing phase. You do your time, you do your shift, and you move on. See it as a journey. Don't expect things to happen over. Now, don't be intimidated by big goals. If you see big goals as a journey and you say one day, well then one day I promise you you're gonna get there. Promise you. There's a lot of people who demand leadership and demand power, but you can't, you can't demand influence. Influence is something different. Most companies know what they have to do and how they have to do it but not all of them know why they are doing it. And if you don't know why you're doing it, then often what happens is you start to believe that you're doing it to make money. And there lies the mistake. Because you don't go into business to make money. The purpose of business is never about making money because that is the result. It's not the purpose. Now a good leader, it's like a good conductor. A conductor conducts people who may be excellent in playing violin. He may not be a violinist himself. Excellent in guitar, he may not be a guitarist himself. Excellent in oboe, he may not uh, oboeist himself. 
excellent in uh, all manner of instruments, wind and string instruments, but a good leader, a good conductor will actually produce rousing music by his sheer presence. As a reflection, one kind of has to think about, do I feel good about myself as a leader because I've been able to help others feel good about themselves? It's not in what we say that we teach young people, but it's in what we do. When we don't even think that they are looking at us. So it's, it's important that you not just saying something, but going out there and behaving in a different way. So you've got to speak, you've got to do and live what you say. So the journey has had many, many lessons for me. The first lesson was that no education is useless. It's how you use it once you have it. The second lesson was have the humility to admit that while you are good at certain things, you're not good at everything. And embrace the fact that you do not know everything because that's what helps you engage other people. When you start solving it by saying, when are African leaders going to become progressive? You are asking a procrastinating question. Because when means it's going to happen someday, sometime. If you start asking the same problem, but say, but why are African leaders not accelerating? You're again robbing yourself because you're asking a question from the platform of a victim, assuming things happen to us rather than us being able to make things happen on the problem. Self-awareness. We, we, we really need to focus on this. You know, it's this one thing that uh, all of us need to try and who am I? What are the things that makes me who I am? What do I value? And why do I like the things that I like? I think that is what should inspire all of us as proud Africans. Not merely to be co-optees of environments in which we operate, which have been inherited from the colonial past, but to become instruments of changing those environments and ensuring that African people, in the broad sense, contribute proudly, effectively to human civilization in general. Self-belief that's firmly rooted in reality can propel you into the next orbit. Self-belief is critical, coupled with confidence, coupled with hard work. Yes, <laughs> work is a virtue. For me, it's, it's what I know. That's how I grew up. You know, you know hard work you know, is, is important. You know, hard work pays. So for me, I just want to share with you that hard work really, really pays. Don't expect that you will progress by just asking. Do it. Have a vision of what you want to achieve. Believe absolutely in that goal. Don't let anyone take you off that path. Yeah, go for that goal. Be brave enough to take mentors or people on that road as may be necessary. Um, and work hard. And accept that it is not a one day match. You're going into a 10, 15 year game. The lesson that I got from there was integrity. That integrity, integrity, integrity. You build it over 50 years, it takes 50 seconds to lose it. Protect it. Protect it. I said to you that I'd like to isolate three characteristics that I wish and pray you will demonstrate in your leadership capacity in your leadership roles. Because if you do, then South Africa is going to be a fantastic place to live in. And these are ethics, commitment, and courage. I'll close off by quoting Mahatma Gandhi, because I think 
this captures how I wake up every morning. Mahatma Gandhi said, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever.